Hey everybody, Montgomery Collections. I'm here today with the largest bayonet in my collection. This is the French Gras 1874 bayonet, which fixed to the French Gras 1874 rifle. These are considered the first modern bayonet of the French army. They were also the first French bayonets to have wood grips and they were the last bayonets by the French to have the manufacture and date routinely engraved on the back. Now before I get into the history I just want to take a look at the bayonet. It is a crazy good design in my opinion. Um, it's not really made for slashing. It's definitely made for taking down horses or poking people. Now it's got this double edge on the front which just runs to the back to a very fat T-section. And the blade style is actually called the T-section blade. Now, there's a lot of markings on this thing. We'll move around and take a look at the serial number here. Now, French bayonets will generally have, um, well, Gras bayonets will generally have a five-digit number. And then there will be some kind of scripted letter before them, like an L or a B or something like that. This has an English style A, and I can't really figure out what that is. If anyone knows, please tell me. I've been trying to find information on that for a while. But you'll see that the serial number matches with the scabbard. You'll note a number of inspection stamps up here on the swept forward quillum. There's one on the back of the quillen there too. And there's also an M, what looks like a 9, on the right ricasso. There's also a number of stampings on the inside of the uh, slide there. And there may or may not be a number of other markings. The scabbard is in perfect condition, if I'm being honest. I don't really see anything wrong with it at all. And also, on the ball finial, there is a small stamp, an M, I believe, and then a 1 on the back. So let's talk about uh, some of the history modifications of these crazy looking bayonets. Now these locked sideways to the rifle. You'll notice the bump on the back. Um, a lot of times, Germans would get a hold of these things. They were um, they were captured in World War One, captured a, a few other times, and they would uh, grind down the back, take off the ring, take off the quillen. Sometimes they would move this press catch to the other side, and bam, you got a bayonet that you can put on a Gewehr 98 and uh, a number of other uh, Gewehrs, but most commonly the 98. Now, Andrew Paris made a small-scale version of this, the uh, 74, and it was issued to the Enfants de Troupe. Uh, sorry if I butchered that. Um, those were probably about 20 inches with about a 16 and a half inch blade. Then he had another thing that was called the Epe Bayonet de Fusil de la Marine Model 78, which was similar to this, uh, except the hilt was longer. And of course, as I mentioned, it had that flat back there. And that was made by Alexander Koppel and Zollingen. The Greeks also had used the Gras rifle, or the Gra rifle, excuse me. And uh, they purchased it from uh, Steyr, which is in Austria. Steyr made a number of these bayonets. Uh, when they're Greek issued, they will be marked Waffenfabrik Steyr. When they're French issued, it will be marked Usin de Steyr. And on both of them, they will have a date. And this one says, manufactured at the armory at St. Etienne, February 1879. Now, um, 
the uh, the one thing that I did want to mention probably is that there's one modification that was made to this in particular that's fairly famous and it's a mod made by a man named Arthur Pritchard and he shortened this and he stuck it on his Webley revolver if you never heard of the Pritchard bayonet look it up it's a uh, it's pretty hilarious little thing and if you ever played the game Verdun you know exactly what that is probably <laughs> so this is the model 1874 Gras bayonet Brass pommel, wood grips, uh, just a, a beautiful bayonet altogether. Ancient, of course. Extremely outdated by the time World War One rolls around, but some of them kind of made it into the trenches of World War One somehow when they were shortened, stuck on Webley revolvers, etc. Thanks for watching, everybody. Montgomery Collections here. Check out my other bayonet videos. And of course, I've got many other videos on collecting various things. So check them out.